Okay. So, third point is what see we are studying loudness. Okay. This is the first feature of sound. In this we are studying first what did we study? Sensitivity of ears. Then second we discuss about the amplitude. Okay. Now, third one what is a third one? Third one is I will discuss first and then I will write over here. Okay. So, we are going to talk about the third characteristic or the third point of what? Third point of loudness. Okay. So, what is a third point children? Third point is area of the vibrating body ok area of the vibrating body. Now, we are talking about the loudness, we have discussed sensitivity of ears, we have discussed amplitude. Now, we are talking the third point which is what area of the vibrating body. Children see, if area is more greater sound will be produced very simple, if area is less then lesser sound will be produced. Just take an example of uh, you know this thing bell ok. We all have bell in our uh, how like our personal temple when I talk about I am talking about you know like the, uh, the place where we have placed our God in our house in our home ok. That means when we pray to God in our own houses we have small temple is not it we have a small temple maybe it vary uh, but we have a smaller or a little place where the gods are kept is not it. We have got a bell also over there ok. I am very sure that we all have seen that small bell uh, ok and we use that bell while doing aarti is not it. Small bell doing uh, when we do aarti. But when you go to temple, when you go to church, okay, you will find a big bell, okay, big bell. So, when you use bell of your own house, okay, when you use bell of your own house, when you pray, okay, when you do aarti, so what, who will be able to hear? Just your own, you will be able to hear, uh, members of your own house will be able to hear. Or if it uh, sounds more, then you know uh, just uh, the very next neighbor will be able to hear, isn't it? But when I talk about the bell of a temple or a bell of a church, you know the bell is so big. Okay, the bell is so big, and when we uh, when we know when we apply pressure, when we apply force on that rod, uh, and when it uh, gets stuck to the bell ok the bell ok. So, what happens the greater area is there. So, it bangs very uh, uh, loudly ok and the sound which is produced is also very big. Now, ok this is the bell which we have at our like church or somewhere is not it. So, it is so big, it is so big is not it. So, surface area is also what more and when we use at our home which kind of bell do we have this much is not it. So, not even this, this much is not it. So, just see the difference in the surface area. When you bang this bell, when you ring this bell ok, when you force it, when you give apply force it goes in this way is not it. And so, when the surface area is more, the surface area is more. So, louder like the sound which will be produced will be more. And so, it will be audible like the sound which when you bell, when you bell the bell of the temple ok. When you ring the bell of the temple it will be heard or when someone else 
uh, bell the ring the bell of the temple it can be heard to a greater distance but when you ring the bell of your own temple your own house it cannot be heard okay it can be just heard by you the family members and even one or two just then next neighbors isn't it why does it happens because the surface area of our bell which we have our o at our own home or houses are very they have very it has very it has got very small surface area but when we talk about the bell which is there in the temples and the churches have the like which kind of bell do we have the bells are big and so this surface area is also big and when the surface area is big the greater sound is produced okay in the same way when we talk about the drums okay in the same way when we talk about the drums if the drums are very big okay larger sound will be produced in comparison to the smaller drums okay so it depends larger area larger area will produce more sound okay a very simple example we have got a tabla in front of you you just try, you know just use only one finger okay when you uh, play only with one finger you can understand how much of sound will it produce and when you use your whole this part okay when the whole this part is used then how much Uh, sound will be produced if you use the hand pr properly then how much no uh, sound will be produced it is quite uh, simple isn't it that when you try to play the tabla only with one single finger it won't produce much sound but when you use the uh, whole of your hand okay then the surface area is quite greater isn't it it will be like this so your sound produced will be quite higher isn't it then from the first case when you only use the finger okay so now area of the vibrating body so what shall i write over here greater the surface area greater the sound will be produced lesser the surface area lesser sound will be produced okay larger larger the surface area greater sound will be produced isn't it smaller the surface area or smaller surface area less sound will be produced okay so the loudness also depends upon what it depends upon the surface area first point what we have read we have read it depends upon the sensitivity of the ear whether you are listening music or i am listening music isn't it it can be a music for you it can be just a bad noise for me isn't it it depends upon the sensitivity of the ears then it depends upon the amplitude here i gave the example of the guitar that when you just touch the guitar and just the guitar means that string okay and just it went up and down very is covering very small distance amplitude is less so less sound will be produced when you plug the string of the guitar with a greater force amplitude will be more that means the distance covered will be more and so more sound will be produced okay then what is the next one area if area is more more sound will be produced okay it will be loud more louder and if less area is there then obviously less sound will be produced okay now we will talk about the fourth point which is distance okay third point we have discussed now we'll talk about fourth point distance distance from 
vibrating body okay distance from vibrating body i think this should be very very clear as it is very very simple the name itself suggests if the distance of the vibrating body okay if we are very near just i gave you the example of the bell when the when you offer prayers at your own house you are very close to the bell family members are very close to the bell and so you will be able to hear but your friends who stays at their own house or just you know the person who stays after 3 4 um, and i just leave three four houses of yours and then he stays okay or just you know a little bit far then he won't be able to hear the uh, sound of bell which you when you uh, ring the bell when you offer the prayers isn't it so you see when the in the school when you go to the school uh, bell is ring you can hear the bell you can hear the bell because you are there in the school but when you leave the school or when you are very far from the school or say even you know uh, half, you know half an kilometer from the school you won't be able to hear why because the distance from the vibrating source has increased the distance between you and the bell is increased the distance between you and vibrating object is increased so greater the distance what will happen sound will become feeble okay that means what if distance is more then you won't be able to hear the sound if the distance is very less then you will be able to hear the sound okay so i think this one is very clear distance from the vibrating body okay so what is this we are talking about characteristics of the sound okay so we have discussed first one that is loudness in this first point was what sensitivity of the ears second point was what amplitude greater the amplitude greater is the sound lesser the amplitude lesser is the sound then we discussed area of the vibrating body if what area is more i give you the example of the bells i give you the example of the drums if area is more then what will happen the sound produced will also be more then i gave the uh, this we have discussed a fourth point distance from the vibrating body okay greater the distance greater the distance lesser lesser will be the sound okay greater the distance lesser will be the sound if distance is quite no uh, big distance is there then you won't be able to hear but if distance is close then what will happen you will be able to hear is it it see when you are uh, very no when you are sitting in next room you won't be able to hear what the other family members are discussing but when you start moving towards that room okay as soon as you start moving towards that room the voice will increase it will become more and more and more clearer and it will become clearest when you reach over there isn't it so when the distance is increased the sound will become feeble okay and one point will become when you won't be able to hear that sound isn't it but when the distance is less then the sound produced will be quite audible okay so now we will discuss about the second point we have discussed the first point loudness now we will discuss the second point which is pitch okay so now we will talk about the next characteristic feature okay first we have done now we'll talk about the next one that is what pitch okay so what does it means actually this is the you know due to this only due to pitch only the shrillness of the sound is you know decided described okay so what is pitch uh, you know like Uh, we can understand the different sounds 
so why does it happens because the p the pitch is different okay that is the reason why we can understand now what does it decides it decides the shrillness of the sound okay no if you keep on pressing the keys of the harmonium okay you have harmonium with you and if you keep on pressing this uh, the keys of the harmonium you will get different different sounds why are you getting different different sounds because the pitch is different because the pitch of the uh, that particular key is different so what can we write in pitch children it decide the it determines the shrillness okay it decides the shrillness of the sound okay if the pitch is high so the sound will be high if pitch is low so sound will be also low okay so what example just now i quoted that if you have a harmonium and if you play different different keys you will get different sound because the pitch is different it decides what children it decide this is very important word it decides the shrillness of the sound again it depends upon what okay it depends on first frequency okay frequency of the vibrating body we have to write okay it depends upon the frequency of the vibrating body means if more frequency is there what is the meaning of frequency children the number of vibrations per second hmm if the vibrations per second are more it's it's very easy self understood if the vibrations are more then the pitch will be high if the vibrations are less then the pitch will be low but do not get confused between frequency and pitch frequency can be measured isn't it we will be discussing this also in the later uh, half of the chapter that frequency can be measured but pitch is not a measurable thing it is it is just a thing which you can feel you can understand okay why because it is a shrillness of the sound which is determined by the pitch okay so frequency of the vibrating body if more frequency is there then the pitch will be high so let me write this if if frequency of the body is high it will produce higher pitch okay so frequency of the vibrating body means for children if the frequency of a body is more than it will produce what higher pitch okay second thing you know it also depends upon the distance okay it also depends upon the distance okay distance between the sound and the listener okay it also depends upon the just now we have discussed the loudness also depends upon what the distance isn't it? i gave you many example that you are using your bell in your own temple you will be able to hear isn't it but the others won't be able to hear why because the their surface area is counted but again the distance isn't it so when you are talking to someone the other will be able to hear if they are you know standing very close by okay as they have started you know going far from you they won't be able to hear why because the distance between the sound and the listener if someone is speaking okay if someone is speaking and the person is very near obviously he will be able to hear 
बट इफ द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द साउंड सोर्स ओके सोर्स ऑफ द साउंड एंड द लिस्नर विल इंक्रीज ऑब्वियसली द पिच विल ऑल्सो गेट डिक्रीज ओके सो वट शुड आई राइट ओवर हि if the distance is less pitch will be greater okay and why is versa isn't it i don't think so that i'll have to write this if the distance get increase then obviously the person won't be able to like the pitch will get decrease isn't it understood and if the distance is what very less then pitch will be very high okay which we often hear about the loudspeakers as you keep on going far far so what will happen the pitchness gets very like it get reduced but when you come closer the pitchness get increased the pitchness means a pitch and so sorry the pitch get increase okay i should not say pitchness it is pitch when you go a uh, very close to the uh, loudspeaker the pitch get increase but when you come far from this when you go away from this the pitch get what reduced okay so this is what about the pitch now it depends upon the two things first of all the frequency okay and the second is distance loudness depends upon the amplitude remember loudness depends upon the amplitude and pitch depends upon the frequency and again pitch and frequency are not same pitch cannot be measured but frequency can be measured okay i told you uh, if we have to say like 10 uh, you know uh, like suppose i rotate my hand two times in one second so what i will write 2 hertz isn't it so it can be measured but pitch cannot be measured okay now the last property is timbre okay now what is this children you can distinguish the voice between you can distinguish between the voice of your mother and the sister you can distinguish the uh, you know your father's and your brother's voice why uh, does it like why is it possible okay why is it possible children just because of the timbre you know when you hear a particular sound when you hear a particular sound it is made up of different different frequencies okay when you are hearing my sound my sound will be made up of different frequencies your mother's sounds will be made up of different frequencies okay and when they come together then there there can be difference in the like you know total uh, difference will be there so that is the reason you can understand the voices okay so what is the thing children when your sister speaks okay what i said just now when i am speaking i am uh, when i when i speak my sound comes but my sound is made up of different different frequency okay when you speak your sound is made up of again different frequencies okay so when i say the frequencies are different okay when frequencies are different so my frequencies may have different loudness your frequency may have different loudness okay so what i mean to say when a person speak okay so when sound comes sound is mixture of different frequencies and different persons frequency will have different loudness okay so that is the reason why we can understand the difference between the uh, sound how what like uh, the roaring of the uh, lion and the chirping of the bird because one sound are one sound is made up of different frequency and again this frequencies loudness can be different okay so i'll just write this timbre timbre is the property due to which
we can distinguish between the different sounds okay due to this timber only we can identify the different different sounds okay sound is made up of different frequencies and different frequencies may have different loudness okay so what is a sound okay which is produced by an object okay sound okay sound is produced by whom sound produced by an object okay is what is made up of different different frequencies and these frequencies can have different loudness that is the reason everybody's voice will be different okay so this was the third characteristic pitch uh, timber is the last one which we have discussed so the first one was what loudness then we have discussed pitch and now the third one was timber okay so now we'll talk about the next property next topic we'll go to the next topic of the sound okay